I've been giving away a lot of secrets for free, and I don't have to, but I do it because I want to help you guys to succeed. Training one player will never be enough for me. I want to help millions of players all over the world. So make sure that you tune in, you lock in, you understand what we're teaching, and it's going to help you to become that five-star recruit that you're aiming to be as well. First thing we always do is get into some ball handling, and then a lot of mid-range or form shots. Today we already did our ball handling, and we did all of our catch-and-shoot mid-range. Now everything is off the dribble. It doesn't have to be too intense, doesn't have to be too hard. We're working on our form, making sure that we shoot the ball correctly. Here's a cool little game for you today. Comment the exact number of mid-range shots that we made, and then you can either drop your TikTok, your IG, or your YouTube name in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and follow or subscribe back to somebody who's checking in on this video right now, because I know this is going to help you a lot. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Now here's the biggest secret of them all. You can actually improve and develop training, playing one-on-one, two-on-two, five-on-five, pick up basketball, it doesn't matter. The key is to understand what you're good at, understand what you're bad at, and then improve at the things on both sides. Getting better at what you're good at and getting better at what you're bad at. Especially that at the younger age. A lot of kids struggle to shoot pull-ups, a lot of kids struggle to shoot floaters, a lot of players struggle to use their left hand. So if I were you playing pickup, one day I would come in on Monday and I would play the entire pickup game and just figure out how to score only with my left hand. Well, next day, I'm going to score all mid-range. Floaters, threes, coming off of ball screens, one dribble, every day just trying to score a different way. You'll see how much better you get in just a short amount of time. That is a huge secret right there. What I want you to do is when you watch this workout, pay attention to the actions that we use that you would use in real games and timestamp your favorite moves so you can work on those moves as well. In this workout particularly, we focused on a lot of one-on-one -on -one action with a help side defender. Just being able to attack closeouts, score off the dribble, get to the paint, use floaters, pump fakes to get to our mid-range shots, and to get into our quick three-point shots as well. So focus on the reads, like this floater here, that you would use to score against that help side defender. Because a lot of times when you're just playing ones or twos, you're not really too focused on the help side defender and how you would make reads that are going to translate the best way to a real five-on-five -five game. So. Focus on how he's able to score against the primary defender or get past the initial defender and the different reads that we're using against the help side defender. Turning the right shoulder, turning the left shoulder, how we pick up the ball, how it's placed, do we keep it high, do we tuck it, do we keep it low. Focus on those small details and that's going to help you become a much better player. So like I said, a lot of this workout is the one-on-one -on -one stuff and one of my later videos I'm going to show you or one of my newer videos coming out soon, I'm going to show you a lot of different things that you would use coming off screens if you play more like that. But being a multi-dimensional scorer is going to help you a ton. Make sure to timestamp your favorite moves, lock in for the full video, and steal your favorite ones, add them to your bag. Just not that one, that one was a little bit crazy. <laughs> Thank you. 